Jane Park has been out in this mess checking things for you to see what's going on. Jane, what have you found? What kind of problems? Well, Dave, I'm in uh, Redford and no thunder and lightning right now, but you can see behind me the kind of uh, damage that was thunderstorms about a couple of hours earlier left behind. Uh, just two doors uh, down on Point Siena off Grand River in Redford, you can see a house was struck by lightning. Uh, firefighters put it out quickly and they were here until just a short time ago making sure that fire doesn't reignite. Now this happened uh, just after 2 o'clock on Point Siena right off Grand River and you can see the siding kind of peeling off. Of course the thunderstorms caused other damage on this block, knocking over tree limbs on top of roofs and even flooding flooding the street and since then crews have been working to clear the drains of leaves and debris and checking for live downed wires but of course this house fire uh, the fire chief tells us was the biggest issue thus far chief eric black tells us a 15 year old girl was home at the time with one other adult they happened to be watching the storm when this happened lightning just hit and i saw sparks and then um, after that i like smelled smoke so then like I went outside and I looked at the house and it started like it was on fire. It was fortunate this time that they were outside the home when the lightning struck. So unfortunately they were in danger of being struck by lightning, but they were able to get out of the house quickly. And the family tells us they do have a place to stay tonight. You can see somebody boarding up the attic right now. Luckily, that fire was uh, contained in the attic, and so it looks like they'll be able to salvage um, this structure. Now, as for uh, other storm damage, of course, the chief is reminding us this is something we expect uh, in every summer storm, but he says be careful of walking through flooded streets, and of course, if you see a downed wire, assume it is live uh, and keep an eye out on your children who may be playing outside. We are live in Redford, Jane Park, the now Detroit. All right, Jane, thank you so much. Good advice there. And by the way, just down the street from Broadcast House, take a look at this tree. Powerful winds cracked it right off of the base. Now it's blocking a side street near Southfield High School. Also,